Hello and welcome to the Third Eye Studios. My name is Santosh and we're going to be talking about the Subkick microphone today. This is a Subkick mic. This is manufactured by Yamaha. So as you can see, Yamaha Subkick. What this basically is, it's a speaker where the driver connections are inverted. So any speaker, you could probably do the same thing uh, instead of investing in a Yamaha. You could invest in a Yamaha. This is pretty useful uh, as I use it on all my recordings, all my drum recording basically. Um, you could also buy your own 6 inch or an 8 inch cone and invert the speaker connections at the back and what it does is it basically becomes a microphone. And why we use it on a kick is this captures anything below the range of 70 hertz, uh, low end frequency. And the way I use it is I just place it in front of the kick drum, approximately around 2 inches from the kick drum so that it doesn't build up too much proximity into it. And yeah, and I use it along with my kick out mic. So both of these blended together give a really fat kick sound. So basically this is how the sub kick sounds inside, it just captures the very low end of the kick adding up some proximity to it. And if you look at the frequency graph, it pretty much shows, you know, it's picking up frequencies right from 40, 50 hertz to 60 hertz and it's building up at 100 hertz. So these are like the ultra low frequencies of a kick drum. So basically this is what the sub kick does and in case you know you can't afford a sub kick or you don't want to use a speaker there's a workaround that uh, you know I tried experimenting on and I think it works very well and let's go check it out. For the purpose of our experiment, I found myself a blue color bucket with water in it and I put aside my sub kick and as you know in front of me we have a SM57 which is a classic microphone. It's been used on almost every record. I don't know if there's any record made without an SM57 that's been used but probably there could be, who knows. And the other key important product that we need is condoms. Durex condoms. These are very good. So what I'm going to do is basically take out the condom. Ah. You know I'm not a professional. So you put it on. Let's take out the mic from the stand. Put it on the mic. completely all the way to the bottom and then you pinch open ah not like that like needs to stay out and then you put it back on the stand and you fasten the stand so that your mic doesn't slip out because condoms have lubricants 
Once that is done, it's a simple thing of dipping it inside the bucket. It's dipping the beak in. Yep, that should do it. So let's see what it sounds like. Done. Let's go take a listen. Done. Let's go take a listen. So basically we finished recording the water bucket. This is how it sounds. Where is the sound? It has a very club vibe. But if you notice the frequency range, the buildup is happening post 100 and it's not capturing so much of the sub frequencies as it should. But it does definitely have a club vibe and it might need a lot of post work in the production work. Well, in comparison, if you look at the sub kick, this is how the sub kick sounds. Again. Again. Yep, if you're asking me from a professional perspective, the sub kick is the winner. But however, if you want to use something experimentally, you can still use the water bucket and it will work well in a recording scenario. And that brings us to the end of this video. Basically, at Third Eye Recording, we're going to be starting a short course on recording theory, arts and science of it. Uh, recording is definitely art, which is based on science. And that's what we'll be covering. It's a three month course. We'll be covering audio theory. Um, we'll be covering uh, different miking techniques. We'll be covering editing. We'll be covering mixing. And we will be grazing upon mastering, but this is generally a three months course and hope you guys want to join. Okay, thank you for watching the video so long. I hope you guys enjoyed it, had a good time. If you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it, I hope you guys click subscribe and uh, yeah, share your comments and let us know what you think about this entire thing and if you would like to really want us to cover something uh, related to the audio world or recording spectrum just let us know and we'd be happy to make a video